So you're having issues connecting with your Apple CarPlay or your phone just doesn't simply connect to your SYNC 4 system anymore? Well, you've come to the right place because today we're going to show you how to solve all of these problems by using a master reset on your SYNC 4 system. Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 o Thank you for tuning into another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to master reset your SYNC 4 system, which will take care of all these Apple CarPlay, phone connectivity issues, and even if you're not able to connect to your hotspot, it's going to solve all of these problems for you. And it's very easy to do so. There's just one thing you got to be careful of. So I'll walk you through step by step on how to do it to get your SYNC 4 system working right. All right, so I am in a 2024 Mustang, but this is going to be the same procedure for any of your SYNC 4 vehicle, whether you've got the Ford F-150, Ford Explorer, any of those vehicles are going to follow the same procedure because they're all coming with the SYNC 4 system. Let's go ahead and turn on the car. All right. And once that loads up, this is your SYNC 4 screen. Now remember, whatever car you have, if it does have a SYNC 4 system, your layout is going to look somewhat similar to this. So this is basically what the SYNC 4 looks like. I really love Ford has gone with the larger screen for the SYNC 4 system compared to the SYNC 3 system. It just offers a lot more customization. And even though this is a base model, I love how these screens look very responsive but sometimes you know it can happen over time just like a phone it will start glitching the touch the touch screen won't be as responsive and you know it's gonna start lagging a little bit so doing a master reset will help with all of these issues to make sure you can prevent having any of the issues with the sync 3 for most people it's basically when the carplay stops working you're not gonna be like you can either do a wireless carplay or wired carplay from here it just won't pick up. It will just won't recognize your device. Sometimes it's the phone's fault, but most of the time I've found that if you do a master reset in your sync system, it will fix it. All right, so here's one thing you got to make note of. So once you kind of come here, if you go to settings and you go to phone list, you've got all of your phones here. When you do a master reset, it's going to completely wipe everything away, which means all of your phone stuff, if you have your radio, you have your radio presets, that's going to be gone. If you use a navigation, you have any saved routes, that's going to be gone. So any of the settings you have changed is going to be gone, completely wiped away. So what I personally suggest people is before they do a master reset, just make a note of everything important that you're going to have. Phones aside, like even if you've got, you know, some destinations saved for your navigation or if you've got some radio presets saved up or even if you have tweaked with the settings to kind of make it fully customizable for you, then you want to delete because it's going to delete everything. You want to make sure you make a note of it so you can revert back to it easily. What happens when you master reset your SYNC 4 system is going to wipe off everything and it's going to be like as if you have a brand new SYNC system straight from the factory. So that's why it's very important make notes of some of the important things so you can easily revert back to those settings that make your mustang or your f-150 whatever vehicle you've got with the sync 4 system truly yours all right so we're gonna go ahead go to settings we're gonna go into general and you're gonna want to scroll down till you find the reset right here click here you can do a four pass connect reset that is basically if you have the four pass app on your phone all the data that has been stored and everything it can delete all of that and you can re-sync your Ford Pass app. But for this video, we're going to be doing the factory reset. So let's go ahead and click here. And you're going to get this basically message kind of going through what I just said. Like it's going to restore to factory defaults right here. But we're going to go ahead and click continue. And you can see it's resetting factory defaults. It's going to do, it's going to reboot itself. So just give it a couple minutes. You can see this screen is on. You got Ford logo it, here. But I've never seen the. Still loading up. And since this is the first reboot, it's going to take a little bit of time. So be patient. Don't turn off your car. There we go. So now it's complete reset and I can show you, you can obviously check by, if you want to go to settings, you can see the settings are a little bit different now because it was customized to, we had a phone list here, but now there's no phone. You can see add phone here. So that all of it is gone. 
So yeah, guys, that's all I've got for how to master reset your Sing 4 system to take care of any of the phone connectivity issues, mainly the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto issues. This should solve all of that stuff. But it's very easy to do so. The only thing you got to be careful is that just remember the setting that are key to you. So you can easily revert back, especially if you've got multiple phones connected to your uh, vehicle. That can be a pain to kind of reconnect all of them. But if it solves the phone connectivity issues and the CarPlay issues, I think it's worth it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Comment below what issues are you experiencing with your Sync 4 system. And of course, subscribe to Red 5.0 for more videos.